All right, so thank you everyone uh, for being here today. It's a great pleasure uh, to have you here for Plutus Fest. And uh, uh, let me uh, just take the next few minutes to tell you a little bit about the research that takes place at Blockchain Technology Laboratory here at Edinburgh University, as well as uh, the research we do at IHK. So starting with the Blockchain Lab, uh, it's a great team of more than 20 uh, researchers, uh, including uh, Phil, that uh, you just heard from, um, as well as people working in all areas uh, related to blockchain technology, focusing not only on aspects related to cryptography and programming, but also aspects related to law uh, and uh, system design. So uh, the lab was created in 2015 with the generous funding of IHK uh, and conducts research in all aspects of blockchain technology. Uh, with also our government funding, as you see, EPSERC and the European Union Horizon 2020 uh, is among the sponsors that uh, we are doing research with. Um, moving on, uh, the mission of the lab is to explore the fundamental open questions regarding the deployment of distributed ledgers and blockchain technology. And this is done following a rigorous discipline in all aspects. What we care about is doing foundational research that helps grow the whole area of blockchain and distributed ledger systems. And moreover, and quite importantly, what we care about is making that research publicly available so that not only ourselves, but other researchers are able to use the res results, build upon them, and uh, create better distributed ledger technology uh, that can be used by everyone. And finally, quite importantly, uh, engage widely in the industry in implementing high value applications that really make distributed ledger technology reach the potential that uh, it aspires to have. So the Block Technology Network uh, was created at the University of Edinburgh, but it's a wider network created with the support of Input Output HK. There is a Block Technology Laboratory at the National and Capodistrian University of Athens and one at Tokyo Tech. Uh, and the teams working at these three institutions uh, enjoy very close working relationship. Furthermore, there is a number of other embedded research that IHK has funded. And you can see there um, some of the universities where uh, researchers right now uh, funded by IHK are conducting research in distributed ledgers. And I just mentioned Lancaster University, University of Oxford, University of Cambridge, University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign, Radboud University and Aarhus University, uh, all conducting research in different aspects of blockchain technology and supported by IHK. So IHK research is of course about the people uh, and there's a great team that is uh, uh, very actively working on all the topics that uh, uh, you've uh, heard about related to distributed ledgers and of course uh, Plutus and smart contracts. Uh, just to give you something about the numbers, there are 33 researchers currently working at various levels. They're either part-time or full-time. They're either PhD students, postdoctoral researchers, research fellows, as well as in-house researchers that are full-time with IHK. Just on the last year, in the period between 2017 and 2018, there were 21 papers published or co-authored by IHK researchers and five papers published by uh, research funded by IHK, as well as currently there are 20 papers under uh, peer review, currently submitted uh, and uh, still going through peer review. This is by far the highest number of any other research and development company uh, in the uh, blockchain and distributed ledger space. And all of them very actively engaging with the academic community as a whole. 24 lectures in the last year in academic venues. This is beyond meetups uh, and other workshops that uh, um, our team has participated. So something that uh, should not be understated here is the research excellence that we strive for. So our results have appeared at the very top conferences and venues uh, in areas of uh, cybersecurity, uh, networks and cryptography. And here is just uh, uh, some of the uh, results uh, that were published and are 
forming the backbone of uh, the technology that is used by IOHK. And just to mention a few of uh, Crypto 2017, Eurocrypt 2018, CCS 2018, IEEE Security and Privacy 2019. These are the top conference in cybersecurity uh, and uh, they were all venues that uh, our research has appeared. So just to uh, give you now a bit of a very quick overview of all the research themes that we undertake um, at uh, ISK Research. Consensus protocols, needless to say, is one of very important theme. The Ouroboros protocols that we published uh, in 2017 is one of the key components. Uh, the first probably secure proof of stake protocol, forming also the backbone of the Cardano uh, blockchain. Some of the ongoing uh, very active research areas is scalability. A number of results have already been out in 2018 and there is more coming up in 2019. Uh, these are extensions of the Ouroboros uh, protocol. Ouroboros Hydra is the code name uh, that we use for that protocol. Interoperability is another extremely important aspect that deals with how is it possible to transfer assets between distributed ledgers. Uh, this is work that we have very actively did in 2018 and following up in 2019 with our sidechains uh, for proof-of-stake uh, work that uh, soon is going to be public. Privacy, another uh, very important aspect in the context of distributed ledgers. Uh, this is work that is building on uh, the uh, proof-of-stake protocol and Ouroboros Crypsinus is the code name for that. Now, all these decentralized systems would not actually work if the right set of incentives is not in place. Uh, and that's why uh, a very um, fair amount of research uh, is done to understand what are the incentives of the participants in these protocols. And finally, governance, um, which deals with how is it possible for these protocols to advance, evolve, over time so that they meet uh, the changing demands of a landscape that uh, is constantly changing uh, and is expected to do so in the lifetime of a distributed ledger system. So all this great, uh, if you want, infrastructure research is really nothing if you cannot program it to do what it is supposed to do. And that's why smart contracts is an extremely important uh, dimension on that, and that's why we are extremely pleased to have here Plutus Fest and uh, uh, share with you our research uh, on this domain with uh, Plutus and Marlow. So, uh, thank you very much uh, for being here today, and without further ado, I'm going to call on stage uh, uh, Charles Hoskinson. Thank you.